While the number of twisters touching down in such a short amount of time may come as a surprise to you, weather experts say it shouldn't be, and this could be just the beginning. News 13's Catherine Mazzone is in the Newsplex with more. Crystal, there have been reports of more than a handful of tornadoes that have touched down since yesterday afternoon. But meteorologists with the National Weather Service say they're not surprised. It's a frightening sight. New Mexicans across the state have seen tornadoes touch down, some just outside of neighborhoods, over the past two days. And the alerts kept coming. We still have several tornado warnings right now, including for Curry County. To tornado warning. We have tornado watches posted for all the areas shaded in dark red. After tornado warning. We have a dangerous situation unfolding right now near Clovis, a tornado warning. 11 of the 33 counties in New Mexico have been under tornado warnings off and on since yesterday. There have been reports of more than five possibly touching down since 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon. So why all the severe weather? We have the dry line, which is this feature that's uh, persistent this time of the year where Gulf of Mexico moisture to the east uh, meets up with uh, cooler, drier air to the west. And where these two uh, bodies of air join together, uh, they don't mix very well. With that comes storms that brew these terrifying twisters. This uh, produced a little uh, little uh, tube that came down right in here. So but Tim Shy, senior meteorologist with the National Weather Service in New Mexico, says this is not unusual. The system uh, is not atypical for this time of the year. As a matter of fact, uh, we're a little overdue for something like this. Shy says he hasn't seen activity like this for the state since 2007. More than 13 tornadoes touched down in New Mexico. At least two people died, and two more just across the state line in Texas. This time, it was Colorado that was hit by a tornado, along with New Mexico's round of twisters. This one, just 15 miles north of the state line in Trinidad, tore apart trees and bushes. Luckily, this time, no one was seriously injured. But Shai says, while having a big span of little to no tornado activity can be a nice break for the state, it also means people become complacent. We've had a couple of years of fairly sparse tornado activity, uh, and that uh, this uh, is probably brings us up closer to what would be considered normal rather than being an exceptional event. According to the National Weather Service, over the past two days, there were reports of a telephone pole uprooted in northern New Mexico and some damage to a business in Clovis. Crystal, back to you. All right, thanks, Catherine. Now, well, many of the tornadoes we've seen have been in eastern New Mexico. Meteorologists with the National Weather Service say tornadoes can happen anywhere in the state. And as the severe weather continues, we will have updates on air and, of course, online at krqe.com.